Welcome everybody, Wigglesworth here, and thank you for watching this. I mean, the title says it all. Uh, very first Moab for Wigglesworth. You would, uh, you'd, uh, I said this earlier, you'd think somebody who'd posting videos on, on YouTube would uh, have Moabs more common or everything like that, but uh, I'm usually playing with my friends. They're usually killing it for me. They're, I mean, we're all running assault. Nobody's helping each other. I mean, we're all just doing it for high kill death ratios. Never gone after gold guns and never gone after... Uh, crazy kill streaks. I think once accidentally I even I got like the the Osprey Gunner and that was pretty exciting. But this is the first time that uh, I I got the I got the the Moab. So I played I played downstairs. Uh, we we'd played Striker and FMGs just before this, and everybody was up on the scaffolding, and it didn't turn out well because my friend was showing me exactly how to throw a throwing knife and get the guys who are who are laying on the ground. So. Uh, I, I decided I'd seen a video, and I'm definitely going to let the guy know. He said, you know, wait wait down here. Use this use this as your defensive structure. Put a claymore right to your left just in case somebody runs under the dome. But, uh, but, get, but stay over here. And that's what I did. There weren't, there weren't too many zombies at the beginning of the game. Um, everybody was... was every, it doesn't look like they're up there yet, but people got up to the scaffolding as soon as the game got underway. But oh my goodness, the the three or four of us guys down here running this right side, we're doing a great job, and we all got up to I think a few of them got up to 20 kills, but they're running out of ammo, so they ran up, touched the ammo, and uh, you know once you get the specialist perk, you can see the the tactical insertions, and I was just like that doesn't look like the smartest move right there. So I I wish I had been recording this live. I mean I can probably reenact it that the moment when it said it because I checked my score when it was like 17 nothing and I was sort of sort of watching and I was like oh, I've, I've hit a few more I've got a couple more specialist bonus and then all of a sudden it popped up like I don't even think I heard or I didn't think I saw the you got a mob I just heard the you got a kill streak or you, you here it is and I was like oh my god to hit the button and I was worried that I got out my pistols and I was like oh shoot <laughs> gotta survive for 10 seconds and luckily, none of the zombies were like, they hadn't amassed to try and kill me. They were just sort of accepting the fact that, or they were just like, oh, we're going to continue on being zombies because we're stupid zombies. So, oh my goodness, I'm shaking. And, you know, it, everybody says once you get past that hurdle, that it'll, that it'll become so much simpler. So I'm hoping that's the case. And, and look at that. So right there, it's been, it's been over half the game, and I've only gotten the eight kills. So I was a little bit worried, but I just it, it seemed like a solid strategy. Uh, I, it never got too hairy, and so it's the hardest part is once you get that Moab to stay stay alive for 10 seconds. Like I was so worried, and well, amazingly enough, there were three zombies coming at me, and I thought that oh for sure I'm gonna die before I get the points for it. Oh, <laughs> before I got the points for it, but luckily they were they were looking up at the scaffolding. So if you want to go. If you want to try something else, maybe you haven't gotten a Moab yet, or maybe you haven't got one on this dome um, on zombies. Uh, stay, stay behind this little turned-over forklift. It's, it, it worked out well for me. I've tried it a few times and gotten a little greedy, but I just have to get lucky not getting throwing knife. So as soon as I saw that I uh, assist would count as kills, sort of backed off, and I was like, okay, I just have to just have to hit them. I don't have to kill them, but uh, these this guy up here on the right. He was, he, he, I think he's the one who got a little bit greedy or maybe ran out of bullets, so uh, I was never too aware of how many bullets I had. I just knew that every three or four kills I would try to push up, get that kill, and uh, and so I see, see there's tactical inserts right there, and I'm like, okay, there's one kill, there's another kill, there's another kill, and uh, less than a minute left in the game, I was like, oh, no, I was going to run out, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, you know, have a flawless win, but I'm going to not get it, so... Oh, the game ran out right right on time. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's such a great feeling. If you watch those reaction videos on YouTube of somebody getting it, where, where people just freak out, that's what I did. And I'm in this game with three of my friends. And they, one of them always gets Moabs. I'm sure the other two have never gotten a Moab. But I'm. you see right here, I'm just sort of like, boom, boom, where is it, where is it? I, I just started, boom, right there, I freak out, I hit it, I pull out my pistols, I'm like, I don't even know what to do, I guess I should just survive, Good, my claymore right there kills two of them, oh my goodness, I get, I had, final score, it's 35 and 0, 
Oh my goodness, thank you for sharing. Share this with your friends. Wigglesworth's first Moab. So I will bring more to you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much. First Moab. Woo! <laughs> uh.